Hey, I'm Swiss Milk, and this is another KSP video. A few weeks ago, I unveiled my method of center of mass displacement using air breathing engines. In this video, I will be showing the principles you should implement in order to create a self-riding motorcycle. There is also a challenge at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. This self-riding motorcycle uses the same center of mass trick shown in my last two KSB videos. Essentially, you will need to add air breathing engines until the center of mass is below the tires of the motorcycle. In practice, this will cause the motorcycle to lean into your turns and self-right as long as it has more than unity contact points. Unfortunately, while the wheels in KSB look like they have a width dimension, they interact with the game as thin circular sheets. Thus, in order to self-right, I use two back wheels. For the front tire, use the offset tool to line it up with your frame. These guys really like to lean into the turns, to a point where the frame will impact the ground before their tires lose traction. You can prevent self-destruction by placing space plane tires in such a way that they will contact the ground before the frame. Throw on some power, lock the steering and the rear wheels, and you're ready to go. Motorcycles constructed this way have surprisingly good turning radiuses when at speed. They have all the same ridiculous climbing and off-roading capabilities as the rover shown in my last video, and they're super fun to drive. Tomoho! The least visited planet in KSP. At last, after many hyper at <coughs> I mean launches, we have arrived! She handles beautifully, except for the random collision glitch. The new wheel physics can't come soon enough. Have fun out there with your new motorcycles, everyone. Finally, for our challenge, I designed this cliff observatory base that would be perfect for the mountain near KSC. It has a few issues that need to be hammered out, but the principle is simple. Place enough air breathing thrusters to offset the center of mass behind a large array of wheels with 30 braking torque each, and slap it on the steepest cliff you can find. As you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do, but I will ship a 3 by 5 foot Swiss flag to the first person to send me a picture of a base like this in action. You can find the craft files for both the motorcycle and the base in the description below. Until next time, this is Swiss Milk, signing out.